Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is a, a wonderful and very interesting uh, anti-tubicular agents. So, anti-tubicular agents are nothing but medicines used to treat the tuberculosis. That we know the name itself indicates it is a tuberculosis. See, this is a tuberculosis and this is a causative organism, very cunning organism. This is a very cunning in nature. Action, super action, bumper action. I, we supposed to be give a Oscar award to this organism. Why I am saying like this? Means it is having a yes, two important features. What is that features that makes the doctors a headache? All medical staff, paramedical staff, doctors, so pharmacists, so in drug finding investigators, they are scratching their head because of this organism. It is having a two important features. What is that important features? I will explain you. See, tuberculosis is caused by the organism Mycobacterium tuberculosis or Mycobacterium tuberculae, it is called as, okay, right. See, this tuberculosis organism, mainly it is related to the lungs, lungs infection, okay. But beyond the lungs also, it attacks to the intestine, various parts of the body, not only uh, lungs. That is the first point you have to keep in your mind. Now, you come to the features. What is the special qualities, extraordinary qualities of this organism? I will say you. See, this organism, when it is growing in the body, the doctors has given a medicine. This is a medicine, anti-tubercular agent. So, what happened? It, the organism undergoes the dormant stage. Sleeping, dormantry, just like a large... It is a sleeping stage, dormitory, sleeping. Action, action starts. Now what happened, when you withdraw all that, so what you will think is uh, there is no symptom of TB so that you stop the uh, medication like that, we will think. Because the symptoms are not there. But once you remove, withdraw all the therapy, again it will become active. It starts growing, it starts growing, 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 growing. And when you give the medicine, it will be undergo the dormant stage. And this is a cycle. See the cycle here. Dormant stage, growing stage. Dormant stage, growing stage. Cycle continues. Cycle continues. Okay? Right. So, the, but it will not be completely eliminated by the body. It is, organism is not completely killed, not completely eliminated by the body. Now you see one more thing. The doctors has got a new idea. They started giving up one more medicine. See, multi-drug. This is a single drug. Organism got resistant. Now, doctors are giving a treatment with the two different uh, drugs. See here, two different drugs. Again, same pattern. This organism got a resistance again. Multi-drug resistance. See here, this is a single drug resistant. Here, organism got a multi-drug resistance. Oh, what to do? Again, the doctors has added one more drug. You see here, this is not extensive drugs, extensive drug, more than multiple, one, two, three, like that. They are go on increasing the number of count of the drugs. Same problem, but this extensive drugs also, the organism is getting a resistance. So single drug resistance, multi-drug resistance TB, extensively drug resistant TB. See, three types are there. Just imagine, that is a one quality. Another quality of the organism is that this is a macrophage. What I have shown here, macrophage. This macrophage is a part of our body's immune system that you know. This organism go and buy, go and hide, go and hide inside the macrophages. Just imagine a thief within a police like that. Organism go and it will be reside, it will be hide within the macrophage. That is a Second quality of this. So due to these qualities and all, uh, really medical field is getting a headache of this team. Yeah. So this is my mobile app. You can be, it is available in the Google Play Store. You can be download it. All my presentations are available in the form of a PDF format. Easy. Before the examination, just you have a quick review. Video classes are already available in my YouTube. After downloading it, you go to the store option. See the point of here, store option. There I have arranged all subjects course-wise. This is about my YouTube channel. That is a, if you go to the playlist, there you can see all my explanation videos subject-wise. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic-wise. See, this is your syllabus and contents what I have covered in this uh, video. I have given here. Yeah. 
this is a it looks like this uh, looks very nice uh, very nice excellent uh, look excellent elegance very elegant organism is very elegant see this is the internal structure of the bacilli tuberculosis is a disease infectious disease this is a infection caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis family is mycobacteriaceae and morphology slightly curved see here slight curved or almost straight straight or slight curve uh, bacillus obligate aerobic it is a aerobic bacteria mainly respiratory because uh, respiratory aerobic okay it is infected it needs the oxygen aerobic acid fast acid can do anything this bacteria non motile non spore forming bacilli it contains the mycolic acid walls if you see the cell wall this cell wall is made up of a waxy type waxy you know candle candle wax and the multiplication is very slow 24 hours one organism will be multiplied into two very slow growth but very toughest very complex and uh, toughest organism so anti tubercular agents if you classify divided into two categories first line drugs and second line drugs in first line drugs these are the drugs are having a high anti tubercular efficacy very efficient very powerful effective and as well as low toxicity this is actually ideal that's why they kept on the first line so all these are the isoniazide h it is indicated by the h very important all alphabets you can learn here rifampicin r pyrazinamide z pyrazinam ethambutol e streptomycin yes all these things you have to be practice all these are the drugs having a high efficacy low toxicity whereas the second line drugs if you see these are the drugs having a low anti tubercular efficacy a high toxicity almost opposite of the first drug so that's why first you give this the first line drugs if it is not organism getting resistance means you started giving up in a second line okay and who is also did a research on this grouping of anti tubercular agents by the who group 1 they divided into group 1 group 2 here they divided into line first line drug second line drug that is as per pharmacology but who this this is also very important group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 group 1 almost all the most potent see here most potent very powerful best tolerated oral oral drugs used routinely group 2 only bactericidal injectable see here injectables group 3 only fluoroquinolones fluoroquinolones group 4 less effective bacteriostatic okay more toxic oral drugs group 4 group 5 are the drugs with having uncertain efficacy we cannot expect what is the efficacy in different persons uh, it shows a different efficacy like that they have divided group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 group 5 all these examples are very important and doses if you see the doses isoniazide rifampicin all these doses we can pay not down and you have to be practice here i have given the maximum dose also okay uh, 5 10 25 15 15 streptomycin all you can be uh, see here alphabets are very important here h r z e yes streptomycin don't get confusion right okay and kits i told now one drug is not sufficient two drugs pharmaceutical company they started preparation as a two drug combination single drug it got resistance now they started preparing of akt2 two two drugs akt2 means rifampicin and isoniazide again getting resistance so they started akt3 three drugs it is having see here three drugs it is having 1 2 3 e h r all these are the drugs rifampicin e ethambutol h isoniazide again getting resistance they started going to further again akt4 ak47 for this is four drugs they have combined here see here r z e h just imagine like that cx5 uh, rifacam this is a lupin company has prepared this akt and all sequences but this is not uh, uh, much okay now standardized uh, this is called a multi drug resistance here see the heading multi drug resistance tuberculosis okay now the doctors has given uh, started giving a fluoroquinolones now for fluoroquinolones also it is getting resistant see this is called a extensively drug resistance tb very important 
uh, and the treatment, if your drug is, if your bacteria, mycobacterium is multi-drug resistant, then you have to use this one for 18 months. Continuous phase or intensive phase, six to nine months, these are the medications you have to give. Canamycin, all these are the fluoroquinolones. Okay, for this also, if you're getting again, it will be a problem. This is called a extensively drug resistance TB. Yeah, now we'll see only first line drugs. That is a, more than enough for your regular examination. Isoniazid, H, H stands for hero. Really among all the drugs, uh, this is called as a H, also called as a INH, also called as a isonicotinic acid hydrolyte. H stands for hero. Hero, it is excellent drug and it is the cheapest drug. Essential in all kits, AKT1, AKT2, AKT3, all essential kits. Dosage regimens, it is a common. Tuber, it is a tuberculosidal, it kills the mycobacterium. Rapidly kills the fast multiplying organisms. Non inhibits the uh, non tubercular mycobacteria. Okay, non inhibits the non tubercular mycobacteria. Equally active in acidic media as well as basic media. This is the structure. And pharmacokinetics, it is completely absorbed orally. Uh, penetrates easily to all body tissues. Okay, it crosses the placental barrier and it is metabolized in the liver. So drug-drug interactions, aluminum hydroxide antacid don't give. Because it inhibits the INH absorption through orally. Because antacid, you take antacid along with INH, no. Okay. Uh, it retards the metabolism and INH also retards the metabolism. This isoniazid retards the metabolism of various drugs. Phenetaino, carbamazepine, digipharmo, theophylino, warfarino, all like this. Phenetaino, see here, phenetaino is metabolized in the liver, but isoniazid will stop this enzyme. So, phenetaino concentration will go on increasing. Okay, it may lead to phenetaino toxicity. That's why whenever you are giving all this phenetaino and all, you reduce the dose of phenetaino. That is better. All this group you reduce if you want to give along with the isoniazid. Adverse effects. All these are the peripheral neuritis, neuronal problem. That's why it is always available in, along with the B, B complex tablet. Isoniazid along with the B complex because isoniazid causes a neuronal damage. See, INH mechanism action, it enters into the mycobacteria, active form binds to enzyme. It decreases the mycolic acid synthesis. This is a mycolic. The cell wall is made up of wax. Okay. This cell wall is called as a mycolic acid. That's why this is called as mycobacterium. Mycobacterium. Okay. This is made up of waxy like material. Mycolic acid is essential for the synthesis of organism cell wall. So this isoniazide decreases the mycolic acid synthesis in the uh, cell wall. That's why weak cell, tuberculosidal. Rifampicin R, indicated with R. Main disadvantage is uh, it gives the red color urine. R stands for red. Keep in your mind. Number of times this was appeared in the question paper. Red, orange urine. Red color urine or orange color urine. Rifampicin. This is a semi synthetic drug. Keep in your mind. Semi derivative of rifampicin. B, this rifampicin C is obtained from this organism. See here, rifampicin B is obtained from streptomyces mediate ray. Okay. Now, efficacy is uh, equal to INH and better than other anti-TB drugs. It is a bactericidal. It is a uh, well absorbed about 70% of bioavailability. Put to decreases the uh, absorption. Better to take on empty stomach. Okay. It is widely distributed throughout the body. Main disadvantage, red, orange. Drug drug interaction, it enhances its own metabolism. That is a main drawback. Okay, it is called an auto metabolism. Okay, so self suicide, like that, you can keep in your mind. Uh, and it enhances the metabolism of warfarin, oral contraceptive. If anybody is taking oral contraceptive, there is a, the, along with the rifampicin, there is a failure of contraception. That is a main, uh, one of the important key points you have to keep in your mind. Contraceptive failure may occur because if you are taking the contraceptives along with the rifampicin. So don't take contraceptives and rifampicin combinedly. Okay. Next, these are the adverse effects like hepatitis, jaundice, all these are the adverse effects. This is mechanism of action. Rifampicin it binds to uh, beta subunit of bacteria and it results in the blockage of RNA synthesis in the organism. Okay, other uses of rifampicin is rifampicin also used for leprosy. 
leprosy, prophylaxis of uh, meningococcal, second, third choice for MRS, okay, combination of doxycycline, we are using rifampicin for brucellosis and pyrazinamide Z. Pyrazinamide tablets, you can see here, it is chemically similar to isoniazide. A weak tuberculoside, this is very weak tuberculoside, but more effective in acidic medium, very important. In the examination, they will ask which of the following drug is have more effective in acidic media. Highly effective during the first two months. It makes the treatment duration very short. Pharmacokinetics, these are pharmacokinetics and adverse effect is hepatotoxicity, less common in the population, mechanical action. Its cell membrane synthesis will be stopped. Pyrazinamide covered will be converted into pyrazinionic acid, active form. This is active form uh, by mycobacterial pyrazinamidase. Okay, it disrupts the mycobacterial cell membrane. And ethambutol tablet E, exactly mechanical action, do not know. Okay, uh, probably it is shown as a, this one. It blocks the arabinosyl transferase enzyme, no polymerization reaction. So it interferes with the cell wall synthesis. This is a probability, not exactly what's happening. We don't know. Okay. It fastens the sputum conversion. These are very, very important points of the ethyl butyl and adverse effects. Okay. That you can be noted on. And streptomycin. <clears throat> the streptomycin, first clinically used drug for the tuberculosis. Tuberculoside, less effective than isoniazide and trypamycin. This also, number of times it appeared. Poor penetration. That's why we are using an injection here. Okay, called as supplemental first line drug. Uses use it for TB, plague, okay, tularemia, and also use it for the same streptomycin. And uh, there is a type so TB organisms. Uh, you can say it is a two types. It go on hides inside the uh, macrophages, body's immune system. Then you can say it is an intracellular bacilli. If it is there outside the macrophages, then you can say it is an extracellular bacilli. So, mycobacteria is present outside, inside the bacteria, mycobacteria is present outside the bacteria. So, isoniazide is effective here, uh, here also effective, rifampicin is effective on both, pyrazinamide is effective only for intercellular, not against this, pyrazinamide, streptomycin, streptomycin is not effective, extra, like this, all these points are very important, isoniazide, ethambutol, very effective against the first, fast multiplying organism. Rifampicin is very slow multiplying organic. So I will end my session here.